you work with both buyers and sellers. Correct. Yeah. And uh, just kind of tell us real quickly what you're hearing from folks, what it's like to work with a seller right now. Um, yeah. What are buyers asking about, or what do they need to know? Just kind of well, the, off the top of your head. The, the most difficult aspect of, of, of the career right now is, of course, you know, working with the seller and being the bearer of uh, bad news if, if we know that their home in this market is going to sell at what they bought it for, or much less. And you got to go in there and tell them the truth, and, and we, we back it up with data, you know, we, and we back it up with. Uh, not only the numbers of what's sold, but what our current buyers are telling us and what our current buyers are passing on or not buying and why. And we bring that data into the seller. That's why I think it's very important to work with a lot of buyers when you're going to list a property. Um, there's lots of opinions about that too, but I, I bring very valuable data to my sellers because my buyer clients, what, what what's making them pull the trigger, you know? And so that that's that's been hard but you just got to go in there and tell them the truth i've had people sell and take large losses i've had people do okay um those are the serious sellers they're they're gonna sell the place mm -hmm. they're they're ready to do it otherwise we just don't list yeah um and that's how it's got to be you either you either have to sell it and we tell them the truth and, and we market it to the best of our ability condition wise price wise we're very honest about that or you just don't sell yeah I mean that's that's the breaks um, on the buy side you know people are very uh, uh, you know aggressive they're trying to get good deals they, they want to buy something they have good interest rates they have loans you know if they're qualified they have uh, excellent uh, ability to to increase their purchase power right now from what they could have got two three years ago four years ago I have, I have sellers who sell at a loss and buy a much nicer house if you know because they've saved some money and they couldn't have bought you know three or four years ago um, so on the buy side again it's it's you know uh, it, it's good uh, for buyers to, that want uh, more house than they could have got. Uh, the one tricky part is, of course, the short sales and foreclosures, educating them on that. Right. Uh, can they go through the short sale process, which is a very could be a very long, very uh, un, uncertain process. Uh, so that's a very, very small uh, portion of uh, my buyer clients that can be, have an ability to sit and wait for a short sale to be accepted. Um, Do you find a lot of people come in and just think they can just pick off something really easily with the foreclosure and not understand I think uh, the process there? Well, I think it's it's a conversation right up front about what yeah. the realities. Um, we do think you can get a good deal, but you have to be very ready. You have to be very aggressive. You, you have to put up with a lot of uncertainty uh, in condition of property or the, again, the short sale process can take a long time. Mm -hmm. Foreclosure purchase can be a normal kind of time frame, uh, you know, but you also won't be treated like you think you should be treated with a normal seller that you're going to have some conversation with sure. uh, get real information that sort of thing mm -hmm. um, well you just have to self-educate yourself with the property you know and I do that and, and then I bring you know uh, my contractors in that sort of thing so there's there's it's just is the buyer up for this are they the right person I try to help evaluate that I don't think I get a lot of people calling me and coming in and thinking this is going to be an easy process and they're going to pick off a great deal. I mean, they're very, most people I work with are very serious. They, they understand. Um, and some, some back away from that process. They don't want to do foreclosure. They don't want to do short sale. Um, but, but we show them what's available. If they have a certain goal and a certain price point, um, we show them what's available. If it turns out it's short sales and foreclosures and that price point, then we see if they can deal with it.